you hate Fuck your it. lipstick It's stained and tasted so sick The party oh, wow. comes in the bras She threw on my guitars I'm about to pull the alarm for the police You're violating me, bro I'm trying to floss I'm trying to make sure I don't have shit in my teeth before I do the intro this motherfucker's bust in the bathroom, starts filming my ass. All right, what's up guys? I just wanted to keep you updated on what's going on in my life. I moved into a new house. I actually live with my same like three roommates that I had in college. That's what I did for the past year too. So I'm gonna be in Minnesota for another year. Yeah, I just wanted to show you on the room. There's, there's a lot to see around here. So when I moved into my other house last summer, I didn't really have any money. So I couldn't like buy furniture. I use like upside down laundry baskets as like my tables. And then this bed is a twin bed. I've had this since I was, probably since I was 11. This is where all the fornication goes down. Yeah, I didn't have blinds for like the past year either, so I just got these. Now people can't see me when I'm naked in my room like they used to. Just got a fridge too. I'm not gonna pretend like I bought this. My roommate gave me this for free. You guys know I'm addicted to caffeine, so I can have all the caffeine my heart desires in here. Yeah, there's really not a lot to see. I don't have any, like, I don't have any wall art or anything. I might actually try to like shop and like buy some stuff, but then again, a part of me is like, I don't really care about that type of stuff because to me, money is like, it's not about looking like you're rich. It's about being rich. So it's important to not buy dumb shit. I'm like a big believer in that. Invest your money, save your money, and set yourself up for a good life. And to me, honestly, the upside down laundry basket thing has become like a meme almost because whenever I have people over, they'll always like roast me about it. And they, they like think it's funny. So it's like kind of too late for me to change it. I, I almost want to keep it. But my overall like dream and goal is to one day like get a house and all my friends can live there. I'm a big believer in like putting out into the universe what you want to accomplish. I've always done that. If you go watch my old videos, even my old like house tour from last year, I was like manifesting the stuff that's happening now. And I do that every single day because I believe it's gonna happen. And I know one day I'll have a nice house, live with all my friends and life will be good. So I tweeted recently that I can't believe I'm banned from every Walmart. And DeAdrian wants to start chirping me on Twitter, talking about he's not banned from Walmart. He thinks he's so cool because he can go up on the cooler. Well, guess what DeAdrian? I can go up on the cooler too, just not at Walmart. There are a lot of instances where people call the cops on me and I'm like, they called the cops for no reason. This is one that if they call the cops on me, I completely understand. <laughs> this is just straight disrespectful. You might have to boost me up. Upper body strength isn't what it used to be. It's actually dope up here. You can see everything from up here. It's just cause DeAdrian De was talking shit on Twitter. Okay, no worries. Can you help me down? Please? No, just put, just give me a boost. Hey, can you come out to Frozen, please? Is he gonna help me down? I have an issue over in Freezer. Yeah, um, is AP here? Can you help me down? Oh, am I supposed to help? Step, step on the desk. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, you're right. No, do not step on that. Oh, don't? Can you no. step down on the end side there? No, no. Just, can you help me give him a hand? How am I supposed to get down then? Are you calling help? Grab me. Grab me. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Put me down. Oh, I'm not sure. to ask you guys to leave. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I actually apologize. I just need you to leave. You oh. should call the cops though, because we should get in trouble that's for this. That's one thing I gotta know about Lowe's. He never remembers where he parked. Dude, that's so <laughs> true. <laughs> I never remember where I parked. Right, it could be right in front of the store and he'll walk right past it. Bro, I'm greasy though. <laughs> this dude always fucking complains when he gets in my car. He's like, bro, I'm sweating my ass <laughs> off bro. back here, bro. And then I put the window down. It's just hot breeze in my face, bro. <laughs> You know, like you're in a roller coaster and you try to open your mouth and the air just. <laughs> I told myself I would never wear this again. <laughs> Back in orange. I hope they don't really lock my eyes, though. We're not doing anything illegal, though. We didn't do anything illegal last time. I mean, you had a warrant out for your arrest. <laughs> Fuck you mean you didn't do anything illegal, bro? So they give you Balenciaga slides in prison or what? No, I, I took it out the little <laughs> man's in there, man. All right, so you guys know if you watched the last video that Golden got arrested. But he's out now. He's a free man. So he's back on the streets looking for a job. We got to go get him some work, you know? Biden never sent the third stimulus check, so it's rough out here. How you doing? My name's Jonathan. I'm his representative. I have a little nonprofit company called Third Chances. Okay. So he basically just got out of jail. He's had two DUIs and he's looking for work now. Would we be able to get him a job here? Two DUIs? Yeah, two. I mean, it's DUIs. <laughs> well, my com- Well, that was what my logic was, is like, if he's surrounded by his demons, I think it will force him to confront them. He can apply. Let's get him an application right now then. You have to go on Indeed. 
Indeed.com. He's not allowed to go on Indeed.com. He's been blacklisted from there. We don't do physical applications. Is it because he has two DUIs? Because my company's called Third Chances, right? So even though he has two, like he's gonna get the third one, right? You know, third time's the charm. He really needs this job. Like you don't understand how broke he is. <sighs> Since you guys are recording, I don't know what you're recording for. It's just for his parole officer. It's. I also do I not consent to being recorded. I need a job. Uh, I'm about you. to pull the alarm for the police. Oh, don't, you don't do that. Stop. Don't do that. Okay. So okay. I already went to. Leave. I don't want to go. Yeah, to jail you can't again. go back to jail. I like your shirt though, dude. I thought he was gonna pull out a gun. He, he, I swear he, he reached under the counter. He's yeah. like, all right, I'm about to. I'm about and uh, to pull. yeah, said, said pull. I'm yeah, that's what I thought too. When he said pull, I was like, oh shit. Come on, man. You ain't. You don't gotta do that. We're cool, right? Hey, we gotta. Right, right, we right. gotta dip. The feds are coming. He wanted to say something, but we don't got time for that. How you doing, my man? Jonathan. Well. Nice to meet you, man. I got a question for you. So he just got out of jail. I'm trying to get him a job. So he basically has two DUIs. I wanted to get him a job at a liquor store because, like, it forces him to confront his demons if he's surrounded by alcohol all day. Do you think that'd be the right thing for you? I got two of them too. You got two DUIs? Yeah. Well, I have two of them. I run a program called Third Chances. It's basically for people who fuck up twice, mm -hmm. but it's like third time's the charm, you know? Like he's gonna get it this time for sure. I don't hire people, have a manager. Do you think like you could put in a good word for him? I don't even know. Come over here. Let, let's let's get this let's get this relationship started right here. Tell him a little about yourself then. I've been in jail almost all my life. I'm 20 right now. Tell him about like your first offense when you pissed too close to like a school zone and got oh, sexual. So I got a little drunk the night before and I didn't know I was by a school and I was just pissing. And then next thing you know, cops is behind me, lights. I just thought it was street lights. But then a whole bunch of cop lights came around, got me in cuffs, told me that I was inappropriately showing my, my you know. And I His just, genitals. Like, yeah, I was in a public area in the school. And so they locked me up for that. They gave me five years. But so. well, he wasn't like showing his genitals. I was just, I was just like, okay, by yeah. Minnesota? Yeah. yeah, it was I a school mean. zone. Like, yeah. oh, okay. when, cause okay. when he yeah. fills out his application, you're gonna see like, offender but that's not actually like accurate because all he did was piss in a school zone nobody saw his d or anything nobody like that saw anything. so don't get like scared off I, by that i honestly just think it's because i was black they just treat us bad yeah, i don't want to be treated bad it's bigger than black and white yeah. you know like treat me fairly like him you know how they treat you when you in jail what was your worst experience him. just going down there period you never dropped the soap or anything they don't know how that happened in jail y'all watch that stuff movies how does it work though because the job was in, you drop, you drop a soap, it's that ass. Yeah. Literally. Spit your customer service right now. Show them what you made How of. How you doing today, sir? Real well. Can I see your ID, please? No, I don't, I don't do that. Can't do that, man. Oh, okay. Right okay, no, sorry. No, I was flattered for a second. Yeah. How much you guys pay here? 18 16. That's more than I've ever got paid. To the oh, oh, oh okay, sorry. I thought you said 18 I was going to say that's an hour. upgrade from the that's 25 cents an hour you right. were making. How you doing, my man? Jonathan. Going on? I run a nonprofit organization called Third Chances. Basically, we like reform criminals and try to get them work. He has two DUIs, but I explained it earlier to him, the whole situation. He's also technically a sex offender, but I also explained that to him, so don't get scared off by that. We're wondering, like, could he get a job here? Everything would have to go through the city. There's an application process for the city. They do background checks. That's my whole purpose, though, is because usually when people like him fill out applications and they have to show that they're like a felon, then it scares companies off. But I sure. want to speak on his behalf and yeah. tell you like he's We're a good a guy. municipal job, so you'd have to go to the city on that. When we fill out the application, don't get scared off by sure. any of the allegations. He pissed too close to a school zone and, and, and they're saying he's a Defender, but it's like nobody actually saw his dangling, you know what yeah, I mean? Sure, it's, yeah, yeah I, believe, I believe everyone needs, has a right to work, so hell yeah. yeah. What are the chances I'm actually gonna get the job? I have no idea, that's outside of my hands. I really Good need to meet you. Yeah. Biden didn't, he didn't give me the third stimmy, so I'm, I'm okay, sir. Please, <laughs> sure, like please. he needs money bad. Please. Like, I just really. got out, I have nothing, I have no pockets to even show you the money, I, I have nothing, so please, okay, that's I'm not the guy, please. That's, I really need uh, to Hey, stop. hey, hey, you're making yourself look bad. Stop, stop, I'm, I'm stop. I'm desperate. Stop. I'm desperate. Stop. I'm really desperate. No, no, no. We're not, we don't beg around okay. here. I'm sorry about him. You guys have a great day. Yeah, Thank you too. Can we get a 1.75 of Ciroc? It's for him. Uh, he's too young. He's 21. You just said he's 20. But, like, we're cool, right? We can just... No, I don't work like that. Do you guys hire felons? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Do you want application? Yes. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go take a piss real quick. I want to talk to you. Talk to me? Yeah, so... You can turn that off. What's up? You want to talk to me? Hey, hey, I thought you said you wanted to talk to me. I'm gonna call the cops. Wait, what did you want to say though? I literally just walked out into this. I was in the bathroom. She was asking about the hickey on your neck. 
The hickey? Yeah. I'm a virgin. You literally left for like two minutes, bro, and we got a Karen that was What'd on. she say? She was on his ass. Really? She's actually on the phone She's with the cops, too. on the phone for no reason. I literally just went to use the I want to see. Wait, so why y'all filming them? It's for his parole officer. No, that's not, that's a lie. What, what do you mean? She was the one coming to us and talking to us. And she was sister. right though. She we weren't even recording. Y'all didn't ask nobody if they wanted to be recorded. Did She's recording me right now. Exactly. <laughs> I just snitched on her. I just snitched on her. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I, I'm not dealing with this right now. What'd she say to you? She was like, so why are you recording? What are you here for? And Dan was like, he's here for my parole. I'm trying to get a job. And she just kept on going on. So she was questioning you when I was she in the was bathroom? She was literally being yeah. like, yes, bro. Bro, how is she going to come up and question exactly. you? And then get mad when I come up and ask her what she wants? They always run at Dan like with the with the stiff arm. They're like, give me the camera. I started laughing because I already knew exactly what she was about to get on. We're sitting there. It was quiet for like 50 seconds. Next thing you know, you just hear like, so why are you guys doing this, this, this? And Dan was like, because of this? She kept on going, why are you because of this? And she's like, who? Dan was like, you're going to have to take it over my boss. <laughs> you can't help us? Not on your video, because it feels like you're just doing this specifically for social media. It's for his parole officer. I just got out of jail. I'm, if you please. were not out of jail, you wouldn't be wearing that type of outfit. I had no clothes on. And this is the only thing they can give me to wear. It's the same reason you're wearing orange, to make sure that they can see him when he's out in the public so he doesn't do anything bad. Please. That's not how they please. typically do. Let me get a job, please. I just want a job. I don't have any control over jobs. So if I can ask you guys to leave, okay. I think we're done here. Of Thanks course. very much. Got is there you. a chance I'm still get hired if I went nope, online? No, not at this point. You guys can head no. out. I'm sorry about that. What's up, bro? You want to come get a beer? Get inside. Let's get a beer. Come Buffalo Wild Wings, right there. Okay. I'll go with you. Hop in. What's your name? G-ball. G-ball? You can take that off. Take I don't got off. nothing under. Oh, really? <laughs> I got nothing under, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my own shit going. I ain't going to jail. I respect that. You're trying to do the right thing. Right. Hell yeah. Can we get a table for four, please? Sure, just a couple minutes, okay? Thank right. you so much. Can I take that? Uh, this, 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 it's just Red Bull. Yeah. Red uh, Bull. They don't allow Oh, oh shit. Just chug, just chug it real quick, you dog. Yes, yeah, sir. He got wings now. Oh, okay. He got wings. <laughs> Our outfits are killing me right now. How long you been in Minnesota? You said you're from Chicago? Yeah, I've been here about 10 years. 10 years? This women's thing here. Like lots of women? Yeah, I'll be on this shit. You get it in or what? Yeah. I respect Question for it. you, bro. On your good day, um, so what you do with your money when you uh, when you get done working? Shit with the people. With the females. <laughs> hey, I need a kicker with you, man. Yeah. You having a good time. I'll be fine. So you tell me where the hoes are at then. Where are they at? Why don't we go out with him ever? We have zero riz. None. Like zero riz. I don't never get girls. Combined, we probably have negative you riz. Like you get old. You got old. Oh shit. You like them cougars, huh? But you like the youngins though. For some reason I feel like. I'll get you look, yeah, you look like R. Kelly. So what's yeah. the oldest woman you've hooked up with? She's about 29. I was about 20. Damn. 20 at the time? That's a 29 year age guy. That was your grandma. You fuck with Buffalo Wild Wings? Yeah, I ate them last night. The barbecue wings are fire. Do you like uh, salt and vinegar wings? It's a polarizing opinion. I get a lot of heat for that, but I, I fuck with salt and vinegar wings. Salt and vinegar? Dude, they're good, trust me. Here? Yeah. I like salt and vinegar, buffalo, classic, and then. And then Parmesan garlic. Parmesan garlic. Fire. What's his name? Dan, he's deaf. Oh, yeah. he's here? He can't hear. Damn, that shit's crushed as fuck. How are you gonna smoke that? Yeah. <laughs> That's like, that shit's like flat. Bro. You broke a finger or something, man? Does it hurt or? It ain't hurt. So the basketball hit it and bent it. Show the camera, show the camera that. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. You're a cool guy, too. You are, bro. Sometimes you know, hunt out of video. Oh yeah. I remember I used to work at a car wash, and when people would give me like a twenty dollar tip, I'd be like, "Let's fucking go." You know yeah, what I mean? That's good. It's a good feeling. Let's get a picture real quick. You mind taking a picture of us three? Yeah, that's fine. Right, appreciate you, bro. Use the black phone. Use the black phone. You don't like black? Stop it. <laughs> you gotta do one. Me and my boy, real quick. You wanna right. take a picture for us? I don't know how to. Yeah, I'm gonna teach you right now. All you do is just click that white round thing right there. You taking a selfie, folks. Huh? <laughs> You're yep, just like yourself. that. Now you put the camera up. Now do, yeah, yeah, just like Hell that. Yeah. All right, man. Good right. job. Right. Hey, you take care, man. Good luck. Yeah, yeah stay course. safe, brother.
intelligent. You shout out to Loaf and you subscribe to Loaf. <laughs> <laughs>